We're glad you're with us tonight. Police released new details in a deadly officer-involved shooting at a Northeast OKC Senior Living Center. An officer shot and killed one of the residents during a confrontation in the lobby last week. News 9's crime tracker Jennifer Pierce with the update. The shooting was the city's second deadly officer involved shooting of the year, drawing criticism from citizens who are against the use of lethal force. A domestic call at the Marie McGuire Plaza involved 31 year old Ajane Owens Bay and his girlfriend. Residents told police Owens Bay was pointing a gun at people outside the building. He's going to be just south of. 12th and Lonnie. Police say the armed man ran into the building when he saw officers. And we had a guy run through the building with the gun, so going in with OSHA right now. Everything seemed to happen uh, very quickly once the officers arrived on scene, and so the officers immediately took action at that point. Police followed Owens Bay into the building's lobby, where they say he pointed his gun at officers and fired one shot at them. One officer fired back, killing Owens Bay at the scene. One of the leaders of Black Lives Matter Oklahoma City is calling for transparency from the police department in the shooting that took the man's life. We're going to continue to ask for very specific things um, that the Oklahoma City Police Department um, should not have a problem in providing, which is transparency, accountability, and answers about what happened. Police say the officer who used deadly force is a 20-year veteran of the department and is now on paid administrative leave. In the newsroom, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9.